Hi everybody, uh, this is the homework for module two, lesson two, and I'm on page 41. Just wanted to remind you all that it starts with a homework helper. So if you don't really remember what we did in class that day, um, even if you're not watching the video, you can always look at that first page of the homework and they're gonna review with you uh, the steps and how to go about it. So we want to measure the eraser. We're going to measure it from the starting point to the ending point. Same thing down here. But now we are going to be using the one cube like we did in class today. So if you would turn from page 41 to page 44, here at the bottom of the page is this little square. So we are going to cut out this square, and this is what we are going to use to measure today. So I'm going to pause the video while I do that. If you need to pause, you may pause as well. Okay, so I'm back. I'm on page 43. I've cut out my centimeter square. You do need to be as careful as possible cutting this out. We are going to use it to measure. So just like we did in class, I want to make sure that I am measuring from this point to this point and that I'm not making the centimeter longer than a centimeter. So I am going to put it right on top of that first line and make my little mark right at the edge. And when I go to make my second mark, I want to make sure that my centimeter square is just covering that mark. I don't want it to be to the side because that's already adding a little bit to it. And a centimeter just isn't very big. So I'm gonna just cover up that mark and mark the edge. And I'm going to continue doing that. So I'm going to cover that mark, mark with my centimeter, and mark the next side. Again, moving my centimeter square, cover up that mark, and make a new one. And then make a new one. Now, when I've gotten here, it goes a little bit too long, right? Remember that we are saying about. We're not going to worry about uh, trying to make sure it hits exactly because it won't. Let's count how many centimeters we measured. One, two, three, four, five. It is about five centimeters long. It is just a little less than that, right? It is about five centimeters. And since they have the word centimeters here, I don't need to use the abbreviation. Let's look at the lollipop. Same thing. I'm going to start my, my centimeter cube right there on that end mark and make my mark at the end, moving it and just covering up the mark and making a new one, just covering up that mark, make a new one. Every time, just cover that mark so that we're not making it a little bit longer every time. We want to make sure that we're precise. That means as close to exact as we can be. And cover it, mark it, cover it, mark it. Now, if I come over here and mark this last one, that seems a little, well, it's almost right in the middle, isn't it? So one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and a bit. So it's almost exactly half. I would say you could say seven or eight, whichever you feel more comfortable with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So I'm going to write seven. If you want to count that last one you drew, you may go right ahead because it's possible that we extended a little bit too far. It's possible that it is closer to eight. We are doing a really rough measurement. Um, this is not the most exact way to do it. Using a ruler that has the centimeters marked is a much more exact method. So we have one more on this page. We're going to measure the scissors. Same thing. We cover up and we mark it. We cover that mark. We cover that mark. And again, we just keep covering up the last mark. It is a, it's a very small thing to hold on to, so you might have a little trouble keeping it in place, but you got to hold it in place or you can't mark the next part. So, And the last one. Okay. Now, to me, this one is closer over here to this one. So I'm going to count this centimeter as well as I'm counting um, the measurement of my scissors. Here, it seemed to be right in the middle. So it's not any closer to seven than it is to eight. And up here, you can see that it's one, two, three, four, Five, it's just a little less than five. Absolutely got to count that one. And I'm going to say the same thing for the scissors, that it is closer to this centimeter mark than this one. So I am going to count all of my centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go ahead and count that one too. I do not see my square. I hope I haven't lost it. Let us turn the page. So here we have someone who has done the measuring with their centimeter cube like we did. All right. She's used her cube and she's measured along these ribbons. And we're going to use this picture to answer these questions. So the red ribbon, the blue ribbon, and the yellow ribbon. How long is the red ribbon? Blank centimeters long. So let's go up to the red ribbon and we can just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The red ribbon is nine centimeters long. B says, how long is the blue ribbon? This is the blue ribbon, and we're just going to count the centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Be careful to count the spaces and not the lines, because this isn't a centimeter yet. That's zero. So we need to count the spaces one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters long. How long is the yellow ribbon? Again, make sure you're counting the spaces. One, two, three, four centimeters long. I'm going to move my page up a little bit so that we can still see. Uh, which ribbon is the longest? So red, blue, yellow. Which one is the longest? That's going to be the red one. Red had, is nine centimeters. 
which ribbon is the shortest? Red, blue, yellow. You can tell by looking at them or you can tell by the measurements. Four centimeters is the smallest number. So that's going to be the yellow ribbon is the shortest ribbon. So I'm going to circle yellow. The last one says the total length of the ribbons is. Total means like sum. If we put all the ribbons together, how much would it be? So we need to add 9 plus 6 plus 4. So I am going to write 9 plus 6 plus 4 equals blank. Now I know, sorry about that, I know my number bonds to 10. 6 and 4 is 10. So I have 9 plus 10. That's a much easier problem to solve. 9 plus 10 is 19. So the total length of the ribbons is 19 centimeters. If at any time you needed to pause, you can do that, go back and catch up, and I will see you here next time.